gospel reading today comes from the very beginning of Gospel Matthew. It is a Christmas story as told by Matthew, beginning in verse 18. Let us listen for God's word. Now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel. Means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep. He did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relationships with her until she had borne a son, and he named him Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Please pray with me. Lord God, open my mouth that I may proclaim your praise. Silence in us any voice but your voice, so that in hearing we may be obedient to your word. Pray in the name of Christ. Amen. Some stories are worth telling over and over again. Whenever I meet with couples who are planning their marriage, I ask them to tell me the story of when they first met and the story of how their proposal went. They love to tell those stories. Whenever I meet with families that are planning a funeral, I ask them to tell me the story of the person who has died. Usually they come out with story after story, favorite family stories of that person. I like to tell the same stories from my life. Like the time when my dad tried to siphon gas from a car with a vacuum cleaner and blew the whole thing up. <laughs> Not the car, the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> then there's a story of when I was in college and I got to meet President Gerald Ford. And I made the mistake of saying, Hi, President Carter. <laughs> <laughs> Great story. We tell those stories over and over again because they're good stories. Sometimes epic stories. And they are stories that need to be remembered. Now, the Christmas story is like that, isn't it? We all know it. Mary was betrothed to Joseph, and when she was found to be with child by the Holy Spirit, we know that Joseph, being an upright man, very just and gracious, was unwilling to divorce her. So, when Caesar Augustus made that decree that everyone should return to their hometowns to be part of the census, Joseph took Mary to Bethlehem with them. And we know the story. We know that there was no room at the inn, and so they went to the stable, and there Mary gave birth to Jesus, surrounded by animals and shepherds and choirs of angels singing in the background. And then three wise men followed that star all the way to Bethlehem, went to the stable, and kneeled before the manger, bearing gifts infant Jesus. That is the story we remember. 
someone said that Santa Claus is a white man, first we had to laugh, and then we had to think to ourselves that there is something inherently wrong in saying that. For one thing, the obvious thing, Santa is, listen, Santa is fiction, but it goes farther than that. Santa is a projection of hope and promise and goodness and race has absolutely nothing to do with those qualities of life. And then there's that saying, someone said that Jesus was a white man, and again we sense the wrongness in that. Applying concrete labels to Jesus is to confine him within those labels, and you cannot confine God.
Jesus, Savior, the Savior of the world, coming for us. In Latin, it is Gloria and Excelsis Deo. In English, it is glory to God in the highest. In colors, it is all the colors of the rainbow. In music, it is Handel's Messiah and Mozart's symphonies and Elvis Presley's Love Me Tender. It is a birth that makes absolutely no logical sense. Friends, that is exactly why we adore so. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God.